New tonight, there is more pushback when it comes to plans to build a casino on this plot of land in Rockingham County. County commissioners are considering rezoning the land, which is actually one of the steps if they want to build a casino in this area. Meantime, across the Guilford County line in Stokesdale, town council gathered tonight to a packed house. The town is just six miles from the proposed site of the casino. Many in the audience were holding signs that have become a symbol for the anti-casino movement. Keep our community great, no casino. Among the speakers against the casino, former representative Mark Walker and someone from Camp Carefree, which is next to that proposed site. This is not just Rockingham County, Western Rockingham County's concern. This should be all of Rockingham County's concern. It should be all of North Carolina's concern. The council introduced and passed several casino related resolutions tonight. The first was a statement saying the town opposes the casino. The second asks for lawmakers to allow voters to decide on the future of the casinos, not the General Assembly. Uh, I just find it to be <coughs> Kind of an extraordinary set of circumstances that uh, something as massive as legalizing casinos in the state of North Carolina outside of tribal land, uh, as I perceive, it's moved so quickly through government, mostly outside of the public eye. And uh, you know, that, that's an issue. I think being open and transparent with, with, with folks is, is, is a hearthstone of good government. On Tuesday, Summerfield Town Council passed a resolution urging Rockingham County leaders to let voters choose the state's casino fate. Other counties like Nash, where another casino is proposed, are joining in as well. Rockingham County commissioners are expected to vote on the rezoning of the land proposed for the casino on August 21st. Now, even if they approve the change, state lawmakers would still need to change state law to allow for casinos not on Native American land. Senate leaders Phil Berger, who represents Rockingham County and has been a supporter of the casino plans, says he expects the casino to generate $6 million annually for the county and create more than 1,700 jobs. 